So let's take a look at finding a confidence interval um, about a population proportion uh, for one population. Um, and usually one population slash sample is where we refer to it. You want to be back at your application library. If you're not, press your apps button. And then we're going to down arrow and right arrow a couple times. And um, we want to um, uh, go into inference. So press enter on. Okay. Now um, there's three different uh, methods here. There's uh, the symbolic. You push that, you're here. You click this, that's our plot. And you click this, and that shows our um, numeric view. Okay, now I want to go back to symbolic view. And it says method, and mine says confidence interval, but if, uh, if yours didn't, if you um, did a down arrow, you see there's hypothesis test and confidence interval. So if you got hypothesis test chose, then if you do your down arrow, oops, if you do your enter, <laughs> then do your down arrow, then you can press enter, and that'll select confidence interval. Okay, now if I go to down arrow and do to the type, if I do enter on that, uh, these are all your different choices. Now, um, I'm not sure if this is um, a flaw with the emulator or if it's a calculator itself, but you see it says uh, Z int here and it's one. Whenever you see those ones, that's referring to one population, one sample. Now this one says moo and this one says moo. Z int and T int. Well, those uh, deal with population mean. Okay, now this one looks like pi. And that's what I say. I don't know if they meant that to say that or if they wanted to say P. Um, usually P is the symbol for population proportion. Um, but that's the one we want. So if it isn't already uh, selected, you down arrow to that one and you press enter on it. And that'll select it. Okay, now if we go to numeric view, so I press this num button. These are going to be the parameters you'll have in every one of your problems. They'll either give it to you directly or indirectly. Now for this problem, you see it tells us uh, construct confidence interval x is equal to 50, n is equal to 200. So for x we'll put in 50. And then I'll press enter. Uh, n is 200, so I'll put in 200 and press enter. Now our confidence interval, we want to enter this in decimal format. So if we want 95% confidence, mine already says 0.95, but I'll show it. I'll do 0.95 and then press enter. And that'll, um, that'll be all of our parameters we'll put in. Now you see there's a calc button right here. If I click that uh, calc button, you see that we got a lower and we got an upper. That's our confidence interval. And if I were to round this to two decimal places, let me bring that up here. Then we would have uh, 0.19. Actually, it's usually four decimal places. Um, that'll take it out to here and then that bring it up. That'd be 0 0.1900, comma. And this four decimal places would be point. 3100 or simply 0.19 to 0.31 and that would be our confidence interval now to um, get out of this you simply just press your OK and um, you can press your apps to go back to your your main screen and that's how to find a confidence interval uh, for a population proportion given one population once one sample.